Hi, Jenny here. Today it is the beginning of October and so I thought I would make a Halloween -y type of a treat. I've seen this dessert um, on my social feed a couple times and one of the YouTubers that I watch, The Baking Diva, she also made it. Looked pretty simple and easy and very tasty. So I thought that's what we would do today. So we're going to be making some spiders and spider webs. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need some twist type pretzels to make our spiders, some um, stick pretzels for the spider webs, and then we are going to melt chocolates. So we're gonna melt the dark chocolate for our spiders, and I've got some eyes to put on there, and then some white chocolate for the spider webs. And if you have some type of Halloween sprinkles, there's a sprinkle on there. That would be good too. I also have just some regular orange and purple. All right, for making the spider part, we're going to do that first so these can harden so that when we make our web, we can push them in our web. So you just want to take those twist pretzels and lay them out and make sure that you have room in between the pretzels and put the legs, depending on how many spider webs you want to make, depending on how many spiders you can make, um, or you could just make a bunch of extra spiders and even just have the spiders out as its own little treat. And then I have some eyeballs sitting here out ready to go. We're going to take about half of the bag of chocolate chips, put them into a baggie, melt them in the microwave, and then we'll snip off a corner and make our spiders. Okay, I melted about half the bag, took about a minute, I did 30 seconds, and then I flipped the bag over, did another 30 seconds, so the chocolate's all nice and melted. And then you can see there's a little bit, a little bit of a clear tip, we're going to cut that off so we can get the chocolate up. So it won't be too big. We can make those legs. about doing these in the baggie as opposed to the baking. Make an actual baking sheet. We'll put some eyeballs in there. <sighs> Spiders are supposed to have four legs, but these legs are thick, so I'm doing three. Let's see, can I put a fourth one in there? I'll try for the thin one. Now that the spiders are all made, we are going to put these in the freezer so that they can set and we'll start making the spider webs. Okay, on another cookie sheet, again lined with some wax paper or parchment paper, 
you're going to make your spider webs. So you take your pretzels, I used about eight of them to make, I'm making big webs. The spiders are pretty big, so <laughs> I guess I'll make big webs. I was hoping to make more little webs because one, you can make more on a sheet. Um, and two, they're more of a snack size, I think. But the spider is going to take up the whole web, but we'll see how it goes. So I have two big ones, and then I broke some pretzels in half and I made two little ones. And we're going to do the same thing, this time with the white chocolate. I'm going to put about half of this bag in my baggie. We'll melt them, and then we'll make our webs. All right, again, it took about a minute. There were a couple little bit of hard pieces in here, but I just mushed them up because the residual heat will help melt them. Until there's another one. That should be all melted. We'll go again, we'll snip them off a little bit of the end. We'll try to do a little bit less. Let's see how this goes. smaller one. So we want to put a big glob in the middle that's going to connect all the pretzels and then just do circles all the way around. Oops, and then I forgot. And then and then take a toothpick and then drag it through each one to make it look more web-like. Oh sure, that broke my whole web. I guess this is... <laughs> the chocolate's drying faster than I expected it to. See how that turns out. Oh, all right, the spiders that have been in the freezer are already set, so again, hopefully while the chocolate is still wet, I'll try to get the smaller one, we'll put our spider in the middle of our web. So, Do it again. I forgot too, I was going to do some sprinkles on these. Let's see if they'll stay. Alright, into the freezer they go to set. Alright, I had lunch and I let these sit for an hour, so let's see how easy they are to get up from the wax paper. That one came out really nicely. Let's see about this one. Not bad. And with all the broken chocolate in there, it still came up easily. Let's check on the big ones. Lift them up slowly. I remember late to put all the sprinkles on, but at least the sprinkles stayed. They stuck to the like the purple one there. This one I rem this is the one I remembered on. And this one they stuck really nicely too. And they actually did the purple the purple uh, sprinkles stuck to that one and orange on there. This one was already dry, so I didn't put any on that one. 
But yay, glad they came up nicely. So there you have a cute little spider web Halloween-y type treat. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought they were kind of fun to make. I'm glad they turned out. I was a little worried there a minute for when I was dragging my toothpick through the the white frosting and it was kind of coming apart and I thought, oh boy, <laughs> a little disappointed in how fast that that dried. But um, I guess maybe if I put some coconut oil in there, that would help it a little bit and it would stay a little bit more moist. But it worked, so that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, I will leave the directions for this down in the description below. Let me know if you've ever made these before or tasted them and what you thought of it. And um, what you think about spiders around Halloween. We've got a lot of spiders around our door this year <laughs> in our mailbox. And as long as they're outside, they can stay outside, not inside. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. Let's -bye. get some chocolate in there, too. Mmm, chocolate covered pretzels, always a good treat.